Hello, Tab Nation. It's your boy, Tom, and today we're going to be demoing two very simple macro recorders that I found. Those seem to be some of my most popular videos, uh, so we're going to take a look at that. No camera today, having some issues with that, but I'll be back up and running. Um, so instead, as you can see up here, I have my keyboard and mouse, just so you can kind of see what's going on a little better. Let me know if you guys like this kind of stuff when I do my automation videos so you can see what I'm actually pressing versus just taking my word that I pressed them. All right. So obviously these are going to be in the description below. The first one we're going to do is called Macro Scheduler. So I've done a bunch of other videos on different types of them, um, but these so far have been two of the simplest ones I have found. If you know other ones, definitely post them in the description below. Maybe I'll do like a part two to this. I'm just trying to show you all the different options that are out there. So Macro Scheduler is very simple. There are uh, free and paid versions of this. Um, obviously in this video, I'm gonna be doing the uh, free version. Um, which does some very basic stuff, which if you're just doing gaming or, you know, using it for personal reason, you're pretty much good to go. Um, you can look at these. Um, obviously, the prices uh, depend on what you want. But this would be more for, like, if you were in a business setting, uh, maybe your company would pay for them to get the fancy features, and you can come here and compare versions. Now, with the light version, which is the free version, you get, you know, a decent amount of basic stuff. There's a lot of stuff missing. But even for the second tier, the um, monthly one here, uh, which is the cheapest, you are getting actually quite a lot, to be honest. There's only a few things that it does not have down here, like the uh, compiler, remote control, that kind of stuff. But still, even with the cheaper version, you're getting a lot of cool stuff like Chrome automation, um, email functions. There's a lot of really nice stuff in here, even for the cheapest one. Uh, but hey, let's use free. Obviously, once again, description below. So basically download that. We're going to go ahead and launch that. It's the little camcorder here, macro recorder. Um, and it launches actually insanely fast. It also installed super quick. Uh, you can resize it. Um, you know, it's whatever you want, which is kind of nice. And we're going to be using this document I have right here, a uh, folder called test, um, just to keep it simple. Um, you got very basic options, rename, delete, record, you know, all that stuff. Help just, you know, it has this pop-up about it. Um, but yeah, we're going to go ahead and press uh, record new macro. Actually, um, right here you can actually say view macro, and it shows you kind of more of like the code. Unfortunately, you can't edit from here as far as I can tell so far, but you can copy it to the clipboard in case you want to share it with someone. Um, so yeah, and then you can also delete. So we're going to go ahead and start fresh. We're going to go ahead, we're going to push record, and we need to name it. So we'll call it YouTube Test 1. This is your hotkey for uh, controlling it when it stops. Uh, by default, it's Control-Alt-S. You can, you know, change it to whatever, um, but we'll keep it there. That's fine. Playback speed, uh, real-time, slow, or fast. Honestly, between real-time and fast, I haven't noticed, like, a huge difference for some reason. Uh, mouse sensitivity, that's fine. You got some other options here. Uh, you got record Windows name and positions. Minimize all windows before recording. Um, that's usually checked, but I had unchecked that, so that doesn't really matter in this situation. Uh, take window snapshot images, in case I need that. Run this application, so in case maybe I want it to automatically launch a game or launch Chrome, you know, whatever. Uh, Low-level uh, conversion, all events, um, don't really need that, I'm fine. And we can go ahead and press uh, Start. So we're going to press Start. Gives us a little thing here just reminding us what our hotkey is to stop recording. That's fine. You can also say don't show this message again. But I like to have it there just to remind me. We're going to go ahead. It's now recording. We're going to right click on here. And we're going to push delete. Control Alt S. And yeah. Now we uh, have that back. And as you see, here it is right here. We can right click, say view. You know, got and got what's going on in here. And yeah, so now let's go ahead and let's bring back that folder that went to my recycling bin. Put it back where it was. And we can go ahead and you can do it run here. 
or just uh, run from there as long as you click on it first. And we're going to go ahead and push play. Uh, once again, it gives us a little warning. If something goes wrong and we need to stop it before the macro has completed, we can just push shift escape. Go ahead, push OK. And as you see, it's going to jump up to where it was. Right click and it's going to delete. And that was on fast. And like I said, honestly, I think that was a little slower than what I did. Um, so if you're looking for time and precision and trying to make it faster than what you did, you're not going to have a lot of luck, but it's still the simplest macro recorder I have found for doing repetitive tasks. So it's still going to work pretty well. And let's bring this back. All right, so that is Simple Macro Recorder. Uh, let me know any experiences you've had with the paid version in the comments below, uh, just to see if anybody's actually paid and it's worth the cost. Let us know. All right, we are now going to jump to our second one for this video, and that is going to be Macro Gamer. So once again, description below will have it, itody.com. There's a little video here that you can click and then play, and it'll give you kind of like a little intro. And uh, down here, you got some other options that you can look at, but where you want to download. Now, at the time of filming this video, the zip file, unfortunately, is having issues. It downloads, but then it keeps giving me errors that files are missing from this. So I'm not sure what's going on with that. I'm doing something wrong, or for some reason, this whatever is currently in there is incorrect. So I had to go up with the setup uh, right here, and that's a basic setup. You download that. Um, it's a pretty small uh, thing, um, so you get this, and this is your pretty basic setup where you just kind of go through. Obviously, this is going to look a little different because I already have it installed, um, but you just go through this. It's a little bit of a slow install, to be honest, for how small of a program, but it's not that bad. It's only like a minute. Um, and then you get the little logo here for Macro Gamer. We're going to go ahead, launch that, double click, and this one actually launches super crazy fast. Um, the one thing that's a little weird about this is I do like the size of the GUI here, the GUI, but uh, you can't seem to resize it at all, which is okay, I guess. Um, yeah, so once again, very simple options up here. You can load profile, new profile. Uh, let's take a look at settings. Settings are pretty simple. It's just your hotkeys. And if you want a sound to play, um, I have my sound off, so you're not going to hear that. Um, so run stop by default is F3. Start, stop, record is F2, so we're good with that. I'm happy with that, so we're going to go ahead and say OK. You also can look at bind keys. This just shows you what you have. So right now, all we have is our stop, which are default built in. So pretty simple. And then we are going to go ahead. We want to uh, create new. Obviously, is where we're going to start. We get the another pop on pop up, kind of like what we saw before. Name it YouTube Test Two. Now. One thing here is if I push OK, it's actually going to give me a warning here. It says, please enter a valid name. You cannot use spaces in here. Uh, so I just wanted to show you that for when you're naming. So we're just going to call it YouTube Test 2 still, but with no spaces. You got some stuff over here. Record delays. Now I don't want that. But I do want to record my mouse moves and my mouse clicks. And I do want to record the uh, position, you know, basically adjust this to depending on what you're doing. If you're gaming, you probably are going to want a lot of this checked, um, but probably not the record delays, depending. Uh, record delays could, you know, if you're waiting like a time frame of how often to click or something. So yeah, play around with those. Bind it, no key. By default, we can push bind. I'm going to go ahead and use F1. That's kind of always my default. So now F1 is there. That means when I push F1, it's going to run, you know, whatever events are over here. You can play once, you can have it repeat, or repeat until you decide to stop it. Um, so basically loops, if you want this to continuously go and you walk away from your computer, that's great. Uh, and thing to point out too is this will not run in the background. Um, so if you're using this in like a game or like Chrome or something, it does need to be the active visible window. So you can't really, um, like an auto hockey, do control send where it can send uh, keystrokes and whatnot to the background windows. Um, so it does need to be the active, just a heads up on that. You can do insert where you can automatically put in like delay, key event, mouse event. Those are pretty standard, uh, self-explanatory. But the one I think you guys would like, especially in gaming and stuff, is pixel event. If you watch my auto hotkey videos, that's actually basically the same thing as um, pixel search. 
So let's take a look at that real quick. We can pick a location. I'm going to click on the folder here. And the cool thing is it automatically grabs the um, color right here, as you see, the folder color of where I clicked. And then we have some other, we can wait for the color to appear. Maybe you have a health bar and when it turns red, perform some type of action like use potion or something. And you got some other options here on mouse move or if you want to click there and we can push insert. So that's that. But we're going to go ahead and push start recording because that's what most people are going to do. So we're going to push start. We're going to come up here, right click, go to delete, and we can push stop. Now, here's one thing. Look at all those mouse moves this, it caught. This is kind of like Pullover's macro recorder where it catches everything. We really don't need anything except for this last mouse move because that's the final position of being over the folder, which let me bring back here. So what I'm, I'm going to do is you can leave it like this, but to make it a lot cleaner and more readable, we can go ahead and go to the second one up, push delete, and we're just going to go ahead and delete all of this until we get to, oh, we accidentally deleted the last one. That's fine. Um, so we're going to do, um, we should have kept that last one, but whatever. Um, we can go ahead and delete this move also. Um, cause that's just me accidentally moving a little bit too much. Or actually, let's go ahead and move this down since we did lose that. There we go. So it's going to move to this location. It's going to click and release my right mouse. It's going to move. Now, obviously, once again, we don't need a lot of this. We only need this last one. So let's go ahead and delete a lot of this. Once again, this is just, you know, kind of keeping a lot cleaner. It's then going to left click uh, the mouse on that delete. And this, these mouse moves were me moving back to the stop recording. So we don't need any of these. Look how much cleaner that looks. So yeah, way cleaner right there. So that's what we want. All right, so we got our folder here. Everything looks good. We're going to go ahead and push OK. And here's our test now. So we can push Run. Or we can click out and press uh, F1 is what I assigned, if you remember. And here we go, F1. Oh. You got to push Run first. That's right. So this is running now. So it's good because it has a hotkey. We can go ahead and press F1 and look how fast that was. I mean, that was pretty instantaneously. I mean, that was a fraction of a second. Um, and if I push F1 again, since it's still running, it would automatically go up there. But we can go ahead and push stop and we're done with that. So yeah, these are two of the by far simplest. Sure, they don't have a ton of functionality, but if all you're looking for is simple clicks or keyboard presses, this is by far the easiest way to go without needing to know much about programming at all um, like i said in the description below if you have one that you use that i haven't done on my channel definitely let me know just to throw them out there in case you want to search for the other ones we obviously have these two as of this video right now but we also have a few videos on pullovers macro recorder which is done in auto hotkeys we also have macro win which is one of the most powerful ones i have found so far Yes, it does have a little bit of a learning curve, but it is definitely worth it because of how powerful and just the insane amount of functionality it has. Um, I've also done another one um, that's basically on all operating systems. It can be on Mac, uh, Windows, and Linux. Um, once again, that one doesn't have a lot of functionality, but the nice thing about it is it is universal on operating systems, so you can share it amongst other type of operating system users, which is great. All right, everybody, hope you enjoy this, and I will see you on hopefully a part two of this. If I get enough likes, I'll try to find some more really good ones with some sort of theme. Give me some ideas, hit that like button, and we'll see you later. Bye.